Hello friends. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about PV diagram. Actually, PV diagram is available to us for all the three regions, just like we discussed about PT diagram, where we discuss about solid, liquid, and vapor. PV diagram also can be drawn for solid, liquid, and vapor region. However, for all practical purposes, PV diagram for vapor liquid uh, equilibrium for a given system is more useful and hence we will be restricting ourselves to the discussion of PV diagram for only two phase that is liquid and vapor. <coughs> As we can see that the diagram is plotted for pressure as a function of volume or in other words we may say that we vary the pressure and we see the volume of the fluid under consideration and we plot the volumes as a function of pressure. Temperature being parameter, all these lines corresponds to a specific temperature and this is why these all lines are called isotherms because we keep temperature constant. So, for a given temperature, as we decrease the pressure from this to this, the volume, you know, expands and it changes the fluid changes the phase as well. So, if you only consider about one isotherm here, right? So, let us talk of this isotherm and then we discuss about the similar other isotherms. So, if I look at this isotherm, this region corresponds to liquid phase and we know that liquids are incompressible. <coughs> so, major change in pressure will not have a big impact even in on the volume. So, even if you, you know, have so much of changes in pressure, so this is your delta P, right? So, this is the delta P. But correspondingly, delta V is this much only, you can just see that this is the delta V. So, for all practical purpose, you can see that delta V is negligible compared to delta P. So, it is only adding up to the, uh, you know, saturation level. So, subcool liquid will you know keep on moving towards subcool region there is a slight increase in volume but for that increase sorry there is a yeah there is a slight increase in volume as you decrease the pressure but for that increase you have to have big difference big change in the pressure now once it reaches here this is the saturation point so this is this is where you have a saturated liquid now any changes would impact in the phase so, what happens is that this is the saturation point and this horizontal line shows you that slowly liquid is getting converted into vapor and this is 100% liquid. This is the line where your 100% liquid get converted to say 20, 30, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100. So, this becomes a saturated vapor. During that phase, the pressure and temperature are not changing. Reason is, this is a pure component and for a pure component, a boiling point is 1. And what happens is, throughout that, only the transition of phase takes place. So, liquid gets converted into vapor and correspondingly, the volume also changes. Reason being, liquid has a less volume, corresponding vapor has a more volume. So, your vapor, your volume expands and it then goes into the vapor phase. So, when it goes into the vapor region, we, we know that vapor is more sensitive compared to liquid to pressure. So, you just see that the delta P range is this much only, but delta V range is more. So, if you want to have any change in volume for pressure, uh, for, for vapor, the changes in pressure requires is much less. So, this is one isotherm. Similarly, as you increase temperature, the qualitative way of isotherm remains same. Only thing is that the vapor liquid region, which is this, you know, is decreasing. And as you proceed, move from this to this, right, these points, which are saturated liquid and saturated vapor, will keep on coming closer and ultimately it will end at a point called C, which is nothing but a critical point. So, this dome which is joined by, which is drawn by connecting the saturated liquid and saturated vapor line or points, this dome 
will give you an idea about where you have liquid and vapor both. Left hand side all liquid, right hand side all vapor. Below the dome or in between it is vapor plus liquid both the phases. Right. Now this diagram or this isotherm which is drawn at this particular temperature which can be termed as Tc is this. So let me first erase all the ink. Now see. So this touches the point C in this form. This is termed as an inflection point where it is goes to minima, maxima and then comes here. So an inflection point at this dome is nothing but it is showing the critical behavior and mathematically that inflection point is given by sorry it's not the first derivative of p with respect to t sorry p with respect to v equals to second derivative of p with respect to v equals to 0. So, if this would have been minima, first would be 0, second would be less than 0, uh, greater than 0. If it would be maxima, first would be 0, second would be less than 0. So, but for an inflection point, first and bo second, both the derivatives are 0. So, this is an inflection point which we see here and for the value of t greater than tc, there is no transition of you know volume and it uh, the the fluid follows only decrease in you know pressure for increase in volume or as the pressure decreases volume increases so this is how we can represent any particular pv diagram for a given fluid and corresponding to this c this is critical temperature this is critical pressure and this is critical volume right okay <coughs> Moving further, so this is this slide talks about what we already discussed. Moving further, we can you know uh, think of getting the values of critical points. So for that, you see the left hand side of the figure where I have drawn a PV diagram for a given fluid, and there are certain you know values, certain you know uh, points are shown like JQ, KN, right, and the similar points have been tried to be you know explored on the PT diagram which is shown on the right hand side of the you know screen. So this is your PT diagram a vapor liquid region this is your critical point right. Now if you have a constant volume tube a tube which is constant volume and it has got liquid filled up more and less vapor. So, if I see that, that particular point is this because this is more towards liquid. So, you got more liquid and less vapor. Now, what happens is that in this case, see, consider that the volume is constant. So, when the volume is constant, I want to show volume constant on this diagram, I have to draw a vertical line because volume is here. So, when I draw a vertical line, I, I am having my volume constant, but as I move upward, my pressure changes that is pressure increases as well as the temperature also increases because you see that the, all these isotherms are having different temperatures. So, my temperature is also changing, pressure is also changing. So, if I draw vertical line and if I move from this point to this point, what is happening is that the pressure is increasing as well as the temperature is also increasing. So, what happens when I start with this where I have more liquid and less vapor, I keep on increasing the pressure so the temperature also rises and I I slowly move towards this point this is nothing but the saturated liquid line so what happens is slowly the liquid will fill entire tube right and then it will move with the constant volume which is equivalent to VL so if I look at that particular thing here just see that this is my J point right so, J to Q and then it moves into this direction which is V to L, right. As against that, if I start with a, you know, point K N, right, that is if I start with the point K, where I have more vapor, that is I have a tube and I have more vapor, 
and less liquid right as as i move from k to n what is happening the pressure is increasing and temperature is also increasing generally if we we think that when the pressure increases the vapor should get converted into liquid but mind well along with pressure temperature is also changing so what we, what will happen is that the vapor which is there will also get heated so the more pressure would be required to convert it into liquid and hence what happens is after some time you reach a saturated liquid line so this vapor as you increase pressure temperature both and keep the volume constant keep that in mind your volume is constant volume is not varying you are not allowed allowing vapor to you know uh, expand the moment that happens the vapor will fill up this space and the liquid gets converted into vapor this is saturated vapor and then you have a vapor the same process like this process kn going to this is also shown on this line reason being you see when you see this diagram that is pt diagram there is no volume which is visible to you so both j and k are superimposed on each other whereas here j and k are separate points right so you have to imagine that this j and k are different j more liquid k more vapor and this j like k to n and then it moves into the vapor so so v to v right so this is about the two you know uh, sides where liquid is more or vapor is more there can be an intermediate vapor liquid zone not necessarily 50 but if you start with that you end at c so if you start with this you end at c and then you continue with vc right what happens is if you can do this you can get the experimental value of tc and pc what happens is you start with some level you keep on increasing pressure 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 so temperature also rises and what happens is when you reach here you till that point you have liquid and vapor separate once you reach the point c what happens is that it becomes hazy right so cool it back or reduce the pressure back and the point at which it gets back splitted into liquid and vapor that is nothing but your critical temperature and critical pressure so it's a very tricky thing to experimentally measure critical point of any particular fluid what happens is you take a constant volume tube take different proportion of liquid and vapor with a trial and error keep on increasing the pressure for those different uh, you know liquid vapor proportion and the you know point at which you get the hazy mixture you you can see that you have got the you know you are near to critical point then from that point reduce the pressure back you will get a split from uh, fluid to liquid and vapor and the moment you get that split you can say that you have arrived at tc and pc so i think we'll uh, discuss this particular uh, diagram that is pv diagram and the critical behavior or how to find out critical property up to this point in this particular video when we meet next time we will talk about single phase region and the generation of uh, you know equation of state for liquid phase and then we'll discuss about viral equation of state thank you